Hi everybody, I'm Diana from Sew Outside the Box. Welcome to today's video tutorial. We're going to use a cheater quilt. We're going to practice sewing straight lines. We're going to turn the whole project into a pillow top. Let's get started. Okay, so what I have here is a uh, cheater quilt. It's a top that already has a pattern printed on it that looks like a quilt, but hasn't actually been pieced together. So I'm just going to use this because it's a really easy way to practice sewing straight lines. And what I'm gonna do is attach fusible to the back of this uh, pillow top. And then I'm going to sew around each of the little squares. And I'm gonna sew around them as if I'm stitching in the ditch. So stitching in the ditch is when you would sew between the seams. And of course there's no seams on this, so I'm just gonna be practicing my straight lines as if I'm stitching in the ditch. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try not to break my thread. So that means I might have to do some traveling stitches. And traveling stitches are when you go back over stitches that have already been stitched. And I think that's a fine thing to do. It's a good practice and um, I think it's gonna end up looking really cute. And then after we finish uh, stitching in the ditch, in air quotes, uh, we'll put a bigger design over the pillow top. And this is an example of a larger quilt that I'm working on that is just, I'm just using my walking foot on my home machine and I'm just creating all these different designs and using white thread, plain white thread, and uh, creating this cool different looks just with quilting. And in this one, I used a very traditional uh, cotton batting and a backing fabric because I'm going to be binding it. But for our pillow top, we're going to keep it really simple and use that fusible, which I love. Okay, so my fusible is attached. And again, one of the things I love about this fusible is that we can just go ahead and start sewing. We don't have to worry about a backing fabric. It's not gonna get cut up, caught up on the back and we'll just be able to continue sewing around it. So I really do like fusible because also we're making a pillow top and it just gives a little bit of added structure. Okay, so now here I am at the machine and I'm gonna pull both my threads up to the top. And the way I do that is I hold the top thread, I lower my needle, I pull on that top thread and it brings up the bobbin thread. And it's a good way to start just so the threads don't get tangled on the back of your quilt top. Okay, from here, I'm gonna speed up the recording, but I just want you to know that you can go as slow as you want, and what you're really trying to do is sew straight lines. And so I have this little picture to follow. It's like stitching in the ditch, and I'm just gonna sew along the edge of each rectangle. And sometimes I'll have to travel back over a stitch that I've already sewn, and I'm gonna go carefully over that stitch line again until I go around all the little log cabin rectangles.
Okay, so here's a little wider shot of me at the machine. And this is real time. So you can see that I'm not sewing that quickly. I'm really striving for accuracy to keep my needle um, in between the lines. And then the other thing I'm doing is I'm taking a look to see where I need to go next. And it's not always clear. And like I said before, there is some travel stitching where I have to go back over stitches that I've already made. Okay, so here you can see I've finished one square and the lines are a little bit faint, but there they are. I think you can actually see it a little bit better. Yeah, there on the back, it looks good. You can see the outline around all the rectangles. Okay, so I'm not quite finished yet because I wanna do a little bit more quilting. And you can see a couple of the lines, but really the essence of stitch in the ditch is that you don't see the lines because you would normally be going in between seam lines. But now you can see here on the back, you can see all the rectangles that I've gone around. And then to add some quilting lines, I'm gonna sew around in a circle and I'm gonna start in the middle and I'm just going to go around and around and I'm gonna use the edge of my walking foot as a guide. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my sew line ceramic pencil and I'm just trying this pencil out so far, I really like it. And I'm just gonna draw an outline around the edge of my quilt. I'm going to use the large square in the middle as my guide. So I put the edge of that side seam on the two inch mark, and then I will draw a line from top to bottom. And I'll go around and do that on all four sides. So here's a little example of what the circle's gonna look like once I put it on the pillow top. And you can see it's far from perfect. I didn't draw a whole bunch of lines, I was just kind of eyeballing it. And it's okay, once I get it on something that's not super plain, it's gonna look great. Okay, and I'm back at my machine. I'm gonna bring my bottom thread to the top by lowering my needle, raising it up, and then just giving that top thread a tug and the bottom thread comes up. Okay, and now I'm going to start sewing and I'm gonna use the edges of my foot as a guide. And also the edge of my foot is about a finger width wide. And I'm also gonna use my fingers as a visual guide as I'm sewing because I might get a little wider. Now you can mark that whole circle if you wish. I do a lot of different things to avoid marking. So I'm just gonna eyeball it and we'll see how it turns out. So I'm just making a few stitches and you can see I'm going very slowly and I'm turning gently but then I do turn a little more because I want to get that circle going. So I'm really counting my stitches here and I'm working on getting right out to the edge of that foot. Okay, and so here's a close up and you can see that I've already gone around a few times. And I just wanna show you that I'm just following the edge of my foot and using my finger as a visual guide to create this space there between those lines. And just for this little bit here, I have to keep the top thread out of the way, I keep moving it, but pretty soon I won't have to do that.
Okay, so I've really sped this part up because I'm just going around in circles, but I want you to see that I am folding the outer edge as more fabric goes through the machine and I'm coming out towards the outer edges with my circles. And now as I'm sewing, I'm getting close to the line that I've drawn. I'm sewing circles and this is a square pillow top. So once I get to that line, I'm actually going to flip my fabric around on the needle. I've left my needle down and I'll flip it around and then I'll come back along that line and then use the other side of my foot as a guide so that I can continue doing the little half circle lines within that square triangle shape. Okay, everybody, that's it for today. So we've completed the pillow top and next week on part two video, we will add a zipper to the back and finish the whole project up. Thanks for watching everyone. Please remember to like and subscribe.